Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another RedGamingTech.com video. This time we have information concerning Intel Haswell chips, and it appears that they're going to be skipping the Ivy Bridge E chips and instead focusing on the Haswell production. Haswell E seems to be on the cards for the end of this year. Now remember, Sandy Bridge E was the last generation of the E processors and of course soon after Sandy Bridge E was released we saw Ivy Bridge but there was never an Ivy Bridge E. Now of course Haswell is expected to be announced in the not too distant future, likely at Computex which is of course in June of this year. We're not exactly sure if that's going to be retail, but at the very least we're expecting an announcement. However, by the end of this year, so in other words 2013 of course, it's likely that Haswell E is going to be released. Now what exactly does Haswell well, offer compared to say Sandy Bridge or Ivy Bridge? Well there are numerous improvements, including a massively lower power draw, so for those of us who want a new laptop it could be a massively um, good idea to kind of go for a Haswell based chip simply because you won't really be using so much energy. The next one is new Haswell new instructions and there's going to be transactional memory technology and various other bits and pieces as well. Now what we do know is it's going to be using an LGA 2011 motherboard however there could be some bad news on regarding this. There has been an unnamed source claiming that the Haswell E chips will require a new chipset, which apparently is being dubbed the X99. If so, it's unlikely to be compatible with the existing X79 based LGA2011 uh, motherboards. Bear in mind, however, there are some things to, as I said, throw a spanner in the works that are engineering samples of Ivy Bridge E. And it also seems that for many industry sources have confirmed a 2013 launch date of X79 compatible Ivy Bridge E parts. So whether this is true or not, who the hell knows, it's going to be an interesting time to find out regardless. I'm actually very much looking forward to the Intel Haswell range of processors. I don't know if I'll necessarily, necessarily I'm sorry, be going for the E range, but regardless of which, I think it's going to be a very good time to upgrade my, proce uh, my processor and the rest of my rig actually. Regardless of which, I hope you've enjoyed the video and at least, if not exactly have an answer, uh, at least found it interesting. So I'll see you soon, take care of yourselves and bye for now.